potatoes or something to put the family. Um, try to cook something healthy. We just get to doing a good workout early today. Uh, now it's time to cook. I try to get my food in before 7 o'clock, but I don't know what happened. But yesterday was a good day because we stayed on liquid diet the whole day. So, <coughs> with that said, we're going to get started, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands right quick, and we're going to get started. All right. Now, I'm washing my hands, I don't know if y'all can see me. But I just washed my hands, so that's first thing first. Cleanness is next to godliness. So gotta have clean hands cook because I don't want to eat nobody dirty kitchen. Oh nobody dirty hands. Alright. Now guys, today I'm using I'll show you what I have. Uh what I brought. It's the uh Turkey ground meat, uh, 93% lean, 7% fat. It's a turkey ground meat. It's open. I like to smell the freshness of it. But it's just a regular Walmart brand. I guess we can call it a Walmart brand. It's uh, some turkey ground meat. And uh, we are going to be uh, using the egg to put in it. So just got some regular eggs we're going to put in it. Uh, regular egg. And we're going to just put, cost, put our seasonal, uh, our garlic powder. Uh, onion powder and uh, get us a little seasoning uh, a little dash of cayenne just to kind of wake up the flavors a little bit and I'll be putting some uh, I guess season oil in it I didn't want to put that but I'm out of my other stuff but I have to make this so on that note guys we're gonna start it off let's see can I get the camera situated so I can have it while I'm making it because my cameraman is actually on the game today. He said he have a tournament on the game. I don't know what the tournament is, but we're going to see can we straighten this out so we can have it. Let's see. I think we can see it. Yeah, we can see it. Okay, good. Okay. So, guys, what I used to do um, I'm going to open this up and it's fresh. It's real fresh too. So I'm gonna just put this in my pan. Put that in my pan. Uh, and uh, as you see, it's lean. This is my first time really doing turkey ground meat. I never ate turkey ground meat before in my life, so it's a new. It's new for me. <clears throat> All right, so I want to get this camera so I can see it and make sure it's. It's doing good, guys, so we can see what we're doing. Let's see. That's better. Okay. Now, as you can see, I got my turkey ground meat in the pan. Excuse me, guys. I just want to make sure that we get a, a good view of it so I can do it so you can see what I'm doing. So... What I'm gonna do, I just put a little cayenne, guys. Um, I guess it's showing. Let's just put a little cayenne just to wake the flavor up a little bit. Just use a little bit just to season it to wake it up. A little cayenne. You can also season your, your uh, ground meat. I usually like to, some I usually use the most is the, um, the uh, what is it called? It's called the uh, French onion soup mix. But I'm trying to stay away from all that stuff now, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little seasoning on it. Just a little seasoning. Uh, put a little onion powder on it to so wake the flavors up a little bit more. So we use a little bit of onion powder. Use a lot of that. I need to get the good onion flavor to get that, that good taste in it. So, so use the onion powder. Uh, then we're going to use a little garlic. You know, meat low without the garlic. 
So we'll just put a little garlic in it. And uh, we're gonna do just gonna mix this together. Mix it together real good. Mix it together real good. So, as you can see, we're gonna just bring this to a good mix. There we go, guys. My cameraman is just not doing this thing today. He wants to play the game on Saturday. But, uh oh. Yeah, all the people get. And and this is the reason why I brought this little one because usually the family don't eat stuff like this, but I do. So I uh I do things now for myself. So I got to remember I'm used to going to the store buying the the big pack of ground meat and the big pack of regular ground meat. I just get the cheapest one to be honest with you. But um turkey is a new thing for me. Uh already turkey and pork. Um uh, just for my purposes, I just want to eat healthy and do healthy so I can't tell you guys if you're healthy. We, I'm not doing it. So, as you can see, I have the turkey ground meat. So, we're going to just mix that in real good. Okay. So, now, we got that mixed in real good. I hope that's enough seasoning in it. So, let's see. Let's see. Can we put this right here? Let's see. Can we get a good view of it again to make sure I do my next step? Okay. Let's see. I got to excuse my camera. So I'm actually doing it myself today, so. Get the eggs out the way so we can use this counter space. Okay, it's perfect right there, guys. So, now, I'm gonna put an egg in it. One egg to, I guess, bring it together. So let's put an egg in it. Uh, right there, so. I'm gonna just put an egg in it and mix the eggs in together. Um, mix that all together. I guess it loosens it up or something. I don't know, my grandmother's always telling me to put an egg in it and loosen it up. I guess it bring all your flavors together with the egg, okay? So, I should have had both hands, but I'm gonna have to wash them, so yeah. I just want to mix this all together. Now, I'm gonna mix it all together. We're gonna use a little. This is healthy, so and I'm like I said, I'm staying away from the the fried food guys. So I'm trying to eat different. So like I said, this is not this is new to me as well as probably to you all, you all as well. So we just try to cook healthy food so that we can be healthy and uh, and live healthy, live longer. So let's get it out here so we can mold it now. So we're gonna mold it. I don't like where my hands feel. But it's not nothing fancy. I'm not a chef, but I'm just a guy that Want to live right, so I got to do. I have to do the live right. So, okay. So now, next I'm gonna do. I need to wash my hands first, yeah, because my hands still wet. Still running crazy. So let me wash my hands right quick. Right okay, I'll wipe my hands to start fresh again. So, as you see, I um, have the ground meat in the pan, so I'm gonna just mold it now. And once I mold it, we're gonna put that in the oven on 350, I guess. Yeah, 350 in the oven for a while. Um, probably about 30, 45 minutes in the oven, didn't check it. But we're going to be on the video throughout the time. So let's mold this and let's put it in the oven. And let's see how it turn out, guys. Let's see. All right, so we got that molded. We got that molded, guys. That was a little time molding it. But I want to try to put it to the middle of the pan. But I don't know. Let's see. Can I move it over to the middle of the pan a little bit? Make it look better. Because when you put gravy or whatever you want it, I want the gravy to get all around it. 
Okay. Now, we'll let the middle of the pan well, even. Even it out a little bit. So, there you go. So, when I put gravy in it, the gravy kind of meat around the pan. Now, meanwhile, between time, we have the oven on 350. It should be preheating. Preheating right now. So, we got that to the middle of the pan, so it looks like that. That's how it's going to look. Um, it's like I said, guys, this is my first time um, doing turkey ground meat. So, turkey ground meat is supposed to be a real good ground meat for you. Uh, very healthy for you. So, we're doing turkey ground meat. Now, what I want to do is... I'm gonna put a little breadcrumbs on the top of it. Just a little breadcrumb. So uh I got some something on the counter already. It's uh progressive breadcrumbs, the plain kind. I guess for me low, so we're gonna stick a little bit on that. On the uh that's a beautiful shot right there. We're gonna put that in on sprinkle just a sprinkle on top. So let's see, can we get a shot of that while we putting that on top of that? How about that? Let's see. Just wanna make sure cause this my camera may not here, so let me just do it in my hand, y'all, because I apologize for the camera movement. So I'm gonna just do it with my hand. So I'm gonna just get a little breadcrumbs out here and put a little breadcrumbs on top of it. Just sprinkle a little bit on top. We don't have to have much because it's not a big meatloaf, so. We're gonna just do it to cover it. And it should be just right here. I just want to cover the top of it with the breadcrumbs and uh, put it on top of it. Wash, get this off my hands. So now this is the final look. This is the final look of uh, the way it looks in the pan. And we're gonna take a towel and just kind of clean it up a little bit. Clean the pan up a little bit because we want to present it. Have it looking a little bit presentable. Excuse my camera, y'all. Get all this off here. We're probably going to just transfer it to another pan afterwards, though. But this is how it look. Let me get this side. I'm so I'm glad I did see this side. I'm going to put a little bit on this side. You know, when I was small, I used to watch my grandmother cook in the kitchen and Watch them cook and they used to put all kind of meals together. I thought it was so cool though, but I never thought I'd be from all the time I sit in the kitchen and watch my grandmother cook that I'd be cooking on my own like this sometimes. So it's always good to not to cook and have your own cook, you know, have your own meals or you know to keep going and buy food out every day. Not to worry about Roman noodles and T V dinner. So one thing about my house, I, I do a lot of cooking as well. I'm from the south, a lot of guys from the south cook a lot. So on that note, God, let's just bring this to the oven. So the oven is on 350 preheat. Let's see. Let's get this. The oven 350 preheat. I'm going to just put this in the oven. On 350. Preheat in the oven. I'm going to bake that. Bake that for about 45 minutes. Um, but, uh, let me see, can I get a good view sitting down? Let me talk to you guys a little bit while that's cooking. We're going to start our next thing off next. Um, so, now that we have that out the way, I'm thinking about doing some, uh, excuse me, got for the camera moving again. I'm just, I usually have my camera, he be on the camera taking care of everything, but, you on the game. But <clears throat> my cameraman, there go my cameraman right there, guys. That's the cameraman. Come say hello. They, they're asking for you. They're asking for you. <laughs> Come in, they're asking for you. They're asking, like, where's, where's, where's uh, Desmond 2007? So, where's Desmond 2007? They're asking for Desmond 2007. Like, where's Desmond 2007? We don't even know where. There you go. That's Desmond 2007, guys. That's Desmond 2007, the cameraman. He's, uh, 
Yeah. On uh, a tournament on, what is it? You playing? Playing uh, GTA. GTA, you on a tournament or something? What you was on? Uh, uh, you mean the match tournament? Oh, you a man? Oh, you do it? I don't know. Madden tournament? You say you're doing something on the game? What you live or something? I don't know what you're saying. Something oh, it's live. Oh, live mean? You live, baby. Yeah, you live. You all the way live. Yeah. What live mean? What y'all making? What y'all gonna do? Um, we gonna do some. Uh, here, I'm gonna fucking let you. What's that? What's that right there? Nothing. Throw this away. That's nothing. Don't mess with that. Leave that alone. Throw it away. All it's gonna be gonna go with you. Matter of fact, don't touch the pan because the pan hot. So I'm gonna hear that in there. All right, yeah, but wow, we picking up this. I'm gonna ask the cameraman to get us a system like this right here. We can put this up. Oh, you got six minutes. Hmm? You said you, you said a lot of time. Yeah, I just started the video. Mm. Just put all the seasoning up. Okay, now I like to keep. Stay tuned on our channel because after we hit 500 views, we're gonna be doing shout out to every every of our fans. So, so stay yeah. Stay tuned on the channel. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe. Hit your subscribe button and subscribe. It's very important you subscribe. And uh, when you subscribe, it gives me a notification to let me know that somebody subscribed. And he's going to be writing on this job. We're trying to get Hey, give me a season out there. The, uh, the, the fixed vegetable I brought. Y'all buy some mixed vegetables in the freezer? We are trying to... We are trying to... Uh, we're trying to get somebody to design shirts to us. Uh, yeah, so yeah, this this year gonna be a great year. Beginning of the end of this year, beginning of next year is gonna be a great year. Um, we're gonna try to do some parallel parallel. Um, I got with a guy who's actually did my uh, my 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 intro. He designed my intro for me. Uh, his name is uh, Sean Brown. Uh, his uh, his his YouTube and, and I think it's. Instagram. I mentioned in my last video, Instagram. Um, on my last, on the last movement of the Instagram, uh, I'll tell you his name again. So if you ever guys, if you ever want to uh, get some uh, some intro done, some computer work done, or something like that, whatever it is, um, get with him, man. I think he did a great job. He did all the job, and I got the preheat up on him. He did a great job on my intro. Tell me what you guys think about the new intro on the page when you see it. Um, Oh, it's, it's actually going to be on this video. It was actually posted on the video we did yesterday as well. Um, but tell me what you think about his intro. He did a very great job. Uh, take this time out to just look at the intro. And, uh, well, I know you see it because I'm posting this video. So tell me what you think. He did good. He did bad. Uh, let's tell me how he did because I think he did an excellent job. I mean, I think he did a wonderful job. And he's actually a good friend of mine. Uh, we go way back, way back like uh, like Brazen A. But he actually did a real good job with the um, with the intro. Uh, let me see, can I find his name again? Cause he is is uh, he sent he sent it to me. Uh, his uh, YouTube page is it a YouTube page? Let me see what it was again. Uh, see, I'm I'm new to YouTube. I'm new, I'm new to Facebook. So every time somebody asks me something, I got to go back and find the names of it and stuff like that. It's kind of crazy, but let me see, can I find a name before we get started for anything else? Um, what's Sean's name? Uh, his name is, uh, okay. See, I wish I had my son. He could tell me how to do this because he know how to work all this stuff. Okay, I think right here it says Sighting. Open, no, open Facebook? No. He know how to do all this stuff, like putting on messages. Okay, I'm going to try. I was on Instagram. Let me try the message. Okay, because I think he gave me a message on Facebook. But let's, I just want to, I just want to stop. I just want to stop so I can get this, uh. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Okay. I want to give you all his information. I apologize for this. Um, let me look on this side. Because he sent it to me. He sent me some message. He tagged me. Actually tagged me in some photos too. Um, his name is Sean Brown. Uh, it's the T-H-E underscore. Let me see. Oh, I can't, I'm trying to find this way. Because he, he told me how to do it. He told me... Uh, Okay, it's the, let's see. 
the underscore Yeah. I can't find it. Yeah, I apologize for this. I can't find it. Um I really want y'all to know this guy's name in case you all want to do the uh I'm so embarrassed actually because in case you wanna have some work done, I'll have an intro done to you all's pages. He was uh I mentioned it on my last video actually, so um, we go back to my last video, you can see it. Oh, okay, let's see. Uh, Sean, it said Big Sean Breezy. Um, we mentioned it on my last video, but uh, his, let's see, can you see his page? So it says Sean Breezy, B R E Z C I E. Um, but I, I'm trying to find some information. Okay, here we go. Um, I just want to air him out. And give him a shout out because he really did a great job on my video. So, uh, Big Sean Breezy, we want to give you a shout out to Big Sean Breezy. So, that's his, uh, I believe that's his YouTube page as well. But yeah, we want to give Sean a shout out to Big Sean Breezy. If you if you want to get in touch with Sean Breezy, um, I can't find it. But if I can't find it, just send a link and just message me on on my Instagram, uh, the D A R E A L J T five zero four. Uh, hit me on Instagram and leave me a DM. Leave it in my DM, and I can get you Sean's information because I really want I want to put this, this brother out. He did some excellent work, especially on my intro. It didn't take him long. I think I called him. I think I called Sean that night. Uh, I called him that night. Uh, I talked to him. Uh, I asked him that night. I said, "Hey, man. I said I want an intro for my uh, my my YouTube channel." He's like, "Say no more. Word." And before you know it, he called me the next morning. I was uh, getting getting in from my out the garage exercising. And uh, he called me on the phone. He said, hey, check your email. I just sent it to you. And I was crazy because he sent it to me. So, yeah, it was Big Sean Breezy. Uh, you can contact him through that. So, it would be perfect to contact him there. I want to try to find the Instagram page. But I don't even know how to work Instagram. So, I usually have to get my son to work the Instagram page. Um... That's just crazy. Let's see. T H E. Okay, I found it, guys. That's how God worked. It's, his Instagram page is the T H E underscore R E A L underscore deal D E A L D E A L deal underscore dad. So it's the real, it's the underscore real underscore deal underscore dad. Uh, get with him if you want to get uh, some work done uh, to your intro. Uh, uh, he do flies. He do a lot of work. He's actually a very talented brother. Uh, so we're going to give a shout out and salute to him. Thank you so much for helping me, this brother. Um, let's get back into the video. We're going to just, I'm going to do some frozen veggies. Some frozen vegetables. Uh, I'm not going to put it too early, but we're going to do frozen vegetables. Um, let's see. I'll get a shot of this for you. So we're going to do some frozen vegetables. Uh, regular warm up vegetables, some mixed vegetables. Uh, you can steam them, microwave. I like to steam. I like to steam them, stove top them, steam. So it says right here on here though. It says you can put them in a the microwave, or you can put them on a the stove top. I do the stove top because I like to cook them soft, cook them down round like that microwave taste too much. We're gonna do vegetables with it. Uh, we're also gonna put a little gravy on the uh, on the on the um, on the. Uh, we're gonna put gravy on the on the there we go. We're also gonna put gravy on the meatloaf. <clears throat> we're also gonna do a small batch of potatoes, so I'll pass some and some potatoes in the pack so they can eat some potatoes too, because they might eat some. But today was like a crazy day because like I said, the day was so crazy that my family everybody wants these Popeye's chicken sandwiches and I don't eat that way no more. It was fried food. No no. Is it uh, carbs, uh, sugar, starch, things like that? I don't do those things. I try to stay into my diet. And that's why we have to be strong because sometimes you can't exactly make your family change the way you want to change. And they want to make a change because they tried to be punished for what I have done in my life of being obesity. So uh, I just want to get my life together and do things right. 
So it, it's just it's very important that I, I, I keep myself going. And I kind of like that challenge sometimes. Uh, sometimes the family want to go out and eat things and do things that they want to do sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But I can't punish them. I can't deprive them for the things they love. They're not big as I am. Everybody's small. I'm the big one. So that's why I made an alternative to have the surgery uh, over at uh, for Dr. J. Patel. So I thank Dr. J. Patel. Uh, if you're in the Fort Worth area, make sure you go and see Dr. J. Patel. It's uh, Medical Center of Fort Worth, uh, Dr. J. Patel, uh, North Texas Surgical Center, uh, Dr. J. Patel. So if you're in the Fort Worth area in Texas, are you near that area, give him a call. The staff is great. He's a great person. He's very understanding. The staff, I mean, the staff make you feel very comfortable when you go down. It don't make you feel like you're obese. It don't make you feel embarrassed. It don't make you feel alone. It's very kind. It's very, very good to you. Uh, so make sure you go and see Dr. J. Batel over at Medical Center for work. Please, guys, it's important that you see a good doctor that someone's going to take care of you and see you great and do the good things with you. So uh, let's get the things prepped for uh, the uh, mashed potatoes and the vegetables. We're going to get this prepped up and uh, we can start cooking our vegetables. Okay, guys? So let's take a pause so we do this. Boom. Let's see. All right, guys, we back. Uh, Next, we're gonna just take some um, some gravy to add to our meatloaf. Doing it the quick way, so we're gonna just get some regular gravy in the can. Um, some regular gravy in the jar. I'm gonna pour some gravy in here. Pour it in this pot here. Just, um, just right here, let's see, hold on a second. Let's try this. All right, guys, so we're gonna just take our uh, uh, gravy and pour into a little mixing bowl and I'm just pour a little, little garlic in it. Um, pour a little onion in it. Let's see, a little onion powder. Onion powder. And what I do, I take some kitchen bouquet because it's brown gravy. Uh, I don't like my gravy to look uh, all brownish, so we're gonna just pull it down, but that to turn it darken up a little bit in the kitchen bouquet. Let's see. So now that we have that there, let's see if I can get it so you can see it. I'm gonna just mix it together. To darken up. Get a camera view so we can see it, guys. All right, guys. So we just take a whisk and they just whisk it together. Show you how I look. This is the final product. We just whisk it together. Here we go. Get the whisk out here so we can see it. All right, now now I got the camera. You can see better. We just use the brown gravy. And uh, we just put the brown gravy. We're gonna just pour it on top of the the uh, the uh, in the meatloaf. I kind of lost word for me. Apologize. We're gonna just take it in and pour it on top of the meatloaf. So let's go over there. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna just pour this on top of our meatloaf. Pull like that on top of me long enough and get a good view. I see maybe I could do this. Let me zoom into that. So yeah, we're gonna pour it on top of me low. Let that cook down a little bit, guys, and then we're gonna put another let it cook down a little bit more. Top of me loaf, okay? Alright guys, we back. So now now that we have the gravy on the meatloaf. We're gonna do some potatoes and some uh, some quick potatoes and some mixed vegetables. So, like I said, we showed you the vegetables earlier. I guess we put the vegetables in this pot here. So, we're gonna just take some few vegetables. I know everybody probably won't eat them, but it'll probably be me. But I just took a little bit of potato, I mean, just a little bit of uh, vegetables. I need a piece of spoon here. Yeah, yeah. Let's open this up right here. It allows you to. I always do it, but sometimes I don't. We're gonna just pour a little bit of vegetables in here. 
Because I eat vegetables all the time. Uh, I don't do a whole thing of vegetables. I just do a little bit of vegetables. So I'll show you how I got it. So we just put some vegetables in the pot. And I'll put a little water in it right quick and put it to ball. So let's do that right now. All right, guys, so we put the vegetables in there. We just took a cup of water and put it in there. The vegetable kind of steam them down. Now next, we're gonna do some potatoes, some quick potatoes in the bag and some potatoes. Quick meal, fast, get it done, eat, before it gets, before it gets too late. So we went to just Walmart and brought some Idaho Golden Select mashed potatoes. Um, that's how they look, so you won't see it. I'll get the camera so you can get a better view so I can make sure that you guys are looking at it properly. So as you can see, these are the Idaho uh, Butter Golden Selected Potatoes, so you want to use a lot with it. It says American's favorite mashed potato dish. Uh, it says four and a half cups, four and a half cups servings. So you probably won't eat a lot. 120 calories is not much um, calories. Um, so you say you got to add like uh, two cups of water to a pan, heat it to a ball, and then uh, remove ball from the heat immediately. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna just add two cups of water to this. So let's get to adding two cups of water to this. We're gonna, well, we got to get the water hot first. We're gonna boil two cups of hot water. So we're gonna get the water started. Put in the pot right here, so the pot we're gonna use. I hate the dirty kitchen when I'm cooking. So I'll be taking breaks. Well, usually when I take breaks, I try to wash stuff up or clean stuff up I had. So let's um, get the water hot from the sink. Let's see, get the water hot. And we're gonna use two cups of that to put in our mashed potatoes. And while we have the uh, meatloaf cooking, and uh, we have the steamed vegetables being steamed. Okay, so let's just take it out. Let's just the camera. I don't know why my I'll be getting it cricket, but just get cricket sometimes. So now, now that our water is getting hot, it, it, it must be cold outside because you want know, it cold outside. It takes a while for the water to get hot for some reason, like a couple minutes, a couple seconds. I'm sorry, but the water get hot. That is crazy. I like hot water throughout the house. I'm gonna see, but okay, now the water's getting hot now. I guess I use hot water so it brings it to a ball faster. Um, that's how long I can keep my hand in here. Oh, it's hot now. Okay, so this is a measuring cup of one cup, so we know we gotta get two of these. So let's rinse this off. Okay. So this is one cup of water. We're gonna just pour into the pot. Let's see right here. I'm just gonna get another one. We're gonna add it to this. So that's two cups of water. I'm gonna bring this to a ball. Let's put the top on it. I'm gonna bring it to the ball on my fire over here. We're gonna bring that to a ball while we got the steamed vegetables steaming. Let's see. So we're gonna bring this to a ball. So we got the vegetables steaming. <clears throat> we're gonna bring it to a ball. Got our meatloaf cooking down. So I'm trying to get the steam off it. So we got that going. Let's take a break, clean up this mess right here. All right, guys, you see our vegetables is boiling nice down, nice and pretty. Uh, our water was hot, so we're gonna just pull this in there and say pull it in there to hot water. So I ain't got my camera, man, so I'm doing everything on hand, so stir this up. 
Oh, we started it up. Let's um check on this. So let's take a break. Let's check on this. All right, guys. So we just got through mixing the mashed potatoes up. You can see the mashed potatoes are finished. Uh, the vegetables are pretty and finished. The vegetables are nice and green. They're nice and finished. I cook them down. I cook some of water out of them. So, I don't know. Oh, okay, we go. Cook most of the water out of them. We just let the potatoes cook down until they got them thickened. So that's how you look. So, let's pull the meatloaf mm -hmm. out the oven. Cause she ready. I'm gonna burn myself. Hold on, guys. I just did burn myself. Oh, let me take it off for a minute. All right, guys. So we pulled the meatloaf out the oven. This is how the meatloaf look. So we got it out the oven. So we got everything ready. So let's um cut the meatloaf up and I can show you how the meatloaf look. So this better view, I guess. Let's cut the meatloaf off and then uh, we can serve our plate and see how the food tastes. All right, let's try to cut it up. All right, guys. So here's the meatloaf. Uh, Cut it open so you can see the mini loaf. Um, see some of the angle right here so you can get a better angle. It's the meat loaf. We cut it open a little bit. That's turkey meat loaf. So that's how the turkey meat loaf look, guys. Those that never had turkey meat loaf before. Our mashed potatoes. It's a lot of food. And uh, our mixed vegetables. Right here. So while we have all that done, we're gonna clean up and uh, let's clean up so we can talk. Okay, okay, guys. Now we back. Um, this is the finished product, guys. So we have our turkey, our turkey ground meat. You ready? Um, my mashed potatoes and our greens, our vegetables. So that's how the finished product looked. So it was a quick meal we did, uh, not nothing big, not nothing small. It was very cheap turkey ground meal at Walmart, like five bucks for a little pack of it. The mixed vegetables was, uh, I think it was like 99 cents, as well as the potatoes was 99 cents as well. So it's a real good meal to eat. We stay on a good regimen. We don't have fried food, we're not eating um, bad food, so we have our vegetables. So how will we eat this first? We eat our meat first, so you see, we would want to eat your meat first, and then eat your vegetables, and then if you have room left over, eat your mashed potatoes, but you probably won't eat all that, that's a lot. So, that's just how you do it, guys. So, it's, the, it's the, probably the only way to do it. Eat your meat first, you can eat your protein, hit your vegetables next, and then hit your, uh, your starch so that is the probably the easy way i can say do it uh on that note guys we're gonna put it back on me right quick let y'all know that uh you know, hold on he won't say hello yeah. so on that note we want to make sure that uh you keep subscribing make sure you hit the subscribe button turn on your notifications hit the thumbs up for the like like this video and leave it a comment in the link below uh, for anything that you think we should do, anything you think we should cook, any suggestions, uh, how you think we're doing, anything you want to talk about, guys, um, just talk about us. But these were just the simplest meals that we can cook and we can eat. And uh, we can be eating the proper way. And remember, guys, uh, if you start eating and you get full, you feel the tightness in your stomach, stop. That's not it. That's it. It's over. Don't eat no more. Remember, drink 30 minutes before, 30, drink 30 minutes after. Do not drink hard. Just take sips. And on that note, guys, we love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. You can also leave comments in the, on my YouTube page. Uh, not my, yeah, YouTube page down below. Or you can DM me on Instagram at the Real JT 504 D A R E A L 
JT504, as well as uh, you can uh, email me on Facebook as uh, uh, Life After Gastric Sleeve Surgery. So either or you can leave messages to me. I'll get back with you. I promise I'll respond to them. and very quick on responding. Leave me your opinion. Let me know what you think. Thank you all guys for watching, and we out. All right, guys, we back. Remember I told you, watch your stomach. Stomach get a tight feeling there. That's when you know you're too full, you can't eat them all. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. You remember the plate just a minute ago, how it looked. I feel like we just ate at the buffet, but it don't take much. But here's the plate now. So, as you see, I got full off my protein, ate a few of my vegetables, and just take a little spoon of the, the, the starch. But that's it, the plate, that's the end result. So, if it's not big, not much, it don't take much to fill you up. Just got to follow your stomach. Okay, guys? But, I just wanted to show you that, guys, again. So, on that note, we thank y'all for watching. God bless y'all. Salutes up to all y'all that's going watching my video. We thank you again. We're trying to get to this 500 view mark. So every day is a goal for us. So we appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification and hit the thumbs up button. Like I said, once again, leave a comment and link below. Uh, anything that you think we should cook, anything you think we shouldn't cook, anything you think we should do next. We open for opinions, guys. This is a new channel, and we are one. Not only my, not only my son and I, but it's also YouTube, so your opinion does matter. So please get back with us. Let us know what you think. Hit us on the DM on Instagram at the real JT504. Hit us on on YouTube on Facebook as well. So we love you guys. Thank y'all for watching and good night. <laughs>